Just uh, your thoughts on uh, the match tonight here in Irvine. Well, good battle. Uh, Irvine played a really good second game. First game was back and forth for a while. We got on top and were able to maintain. But second game, that was uh, really quite good. We had a nice finish to that second game. They were up 18-16, and I don't think uh, we let them score again. I think it was 25-18 or 25-19. That's what I've been hoping that we would mature uh, into is be able to be a team that can finish like that. And then the third game, once we got on top, it, it was all it was all us. And I had some real good performances from people off the bench in the third game. So I'm real pleased. Now we got to focus on the Bruins. Uh, the one stat that you're looking at right in the box score is no hitting errors for Alex Jupiter against 13 kills. How impressive was that on her night? Really impressive. For Alex, she's been working and working. She's like a whole different player right now, and she continues to get better. So as she matures, so goes our team. And, uh, you know, she's, she's a good one. Going into Friday with UCLA, Pac-10 opener against your crosstown rival doesn't happen a lot. What are you looking for UCLA to bring into the Galen Center? Well, they're going to bring a left side attack, kind of like Irvine, but they've got middle and, and right side size to go with it. They've got a freshman on the right side who's playing really well for them. Their libero is, is one of the best. Uh, she's really put up some numbers. So uh, I look for a real battle. You know, we could, uh, we could really duke it out here back and forth with these guys, and it should be a lot of fun. I wouldn't miss this one.